Greetings, here are my top 10 noteworthy predictions for solar and wool funds by 2030. Rounding out at number 10, most of the chief investment officers at the top 10 solar and wool funds will not be running them by 2030. And there are a lot of reasons for that. Contract changes, performance, moving on to new jobs, but I think a lot of them won't be in their current roles by 2030. Next, number nine, most of the Vision 2030 plans in the Middle East that were propagated by the major consulting firms onto sovereign wealth funds, they will not meet all of their goals. You can go look up Vision 2030. Um, many of these countries have these sort of national plans. Number eight, the rate of investment flows into India by sovereign wealth funds will slow down. As we've seen before, India has been a major beneficiary of sovereign wealth fund direct investment as China has you know had issues with the West. The returns in India will likely materialize and some wolf funds will be left scratching their heads. Number seven, the majority of sovereign wolf funds in non-traditional renewable energy plays will likely flop. I'm talking about investments in EV charging stations, renewable fuels, EV buses. One example is Proterra, just declared bankruptcy in 2024 and battery storage ventures. There's a lot of hype in renewables. I think the traditional ones will probably do okay because they'll find buyers, but the ones that are in a more riskier venture space will likely again flop. Number six, sorry bros, cryptocurrencies will fail to make inroads in major summer wall funds. Yes, wall funds have been investing in some crypto directly and in crypto startups, but there will not be major inroads by 2030. Number five, um, sovereign wealth funds will be deeply impacted by their investments in real estate. That means direct holdings and real estate funds in their portfolios. They've already been negatively impacted uh, during COVID, but wealth funds have been holding these assets a lot longer. And with the structural changes coming into place, and they're still happening, um, they will materialize and see uh, issues in their real estate. And one can also talk about private credit and private equity, but I think real estate will be the one that gets hit the most. Four, Mubadla Investment Company will likely have talks with ADQ, which is another type of um, strategic development sovereign wealth fund that owns a lot, of, a lot of companies. Likely, these two entities will likely merge, in my opinion, due to synergies. Three, Norway Sovereign Wealth Fund, and again, every three or four years there's a study out, and they say we're investing in private equity and private market funds. Well. Just today, they notified that they invested uh, about 900 million euro in a Copenhagen infrastructure fund, five. I think this is the floodgate that the Norris Arm Wolfen will invest in private equity fund funds. Uh, number two, sustained high oil prices. I don't see a lot of change unless the war gets resolution. Again, I'm not a war strategist, but uh, oil and gas arm Wolfens will continue to make up a large portion of the large sovereign wealth fund asset pool. So oil and gas versus the Asian sovereign wealth funds that were export led. And number one, eight out of the ten, eight out of the top ten sovereign wealth funds will have over one trillion dollars in assets. Many of them already do, but eight out of the ten will probably have that. That means wealth funds will continue to make up a growing investor class, inching up on the public pension market. And uh, a corollary to that, or kind of a linkage to that would be listed equities. Despite antitrust efforts in the US, um, sovereign funds exposure to tech giant stocks, Alphabet, uh, you know, the FANG stocks, will remain a bulk part of their listed equity portfolios. It'll be a major part of it. It will not change. Like the dynamic that we saw from uh, listed equities going from traditional oil and gas and banking companies to tech companies in the 2000s, I think it will remain tech. All right, those are my predictions.